everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Emma, you guys should definitely subscribe, and also be sure to follow me on Instagram, as I am on Instagram a lot more than I am on YouTube. I thought that it would be fun to go ahead and show you guys, like, what I eat in a day. I have had, like, certain requests to do this just because I am gluten-free. I don't have, like, celiacs or anything like that, I just find myself very sensitive to gluten and so about I think it was like two and a half or three years ago I started cutting gluten out of my diet because I was having horrible horrible just breakouts they were just disgusting and so my mom thought that I might be a little bit sensitive um, to gluten and that's what was causing my breakouts I'm not sure if there was any correlation between those two I mean my skin has cleared up but I think that's just because I have more outgrown it and I'm not as stressed as I was a couple of years ago um, but either way I do still eat gluten free like I said I have been for like two or three years um, I just feel a lot better when I'm not eating gluten sometimes I will cheat um, but my stomach just really bothers me when I do that so um, if I do cheat I try to do like really really small like a handful of goldfish or like a little <laughs> break off um, of a cookie, something more like that. I can't eat like a full like hamburger bun. That would push me over the edge. So um, I do watch what I eat. I don't eat near as much as I used to just because there aren't a ton of gluten-free options and gluten-free um, alternatives are a lot more expensive and that's just not something that like I need to have in my diet. So I obviously don't eat the same thing every single day. For the most part though, it's pretty consistent and so I'm gonna show you guys kind of like my three options for breakfast and then what I usually eat for lunch, whether I'm at home or I'm packing the lunch and then dinner my mom usually makes or we're on our own so I'll make like a sandwich or something like that so I'm gonna take you through kind of cover all the bases um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this this is definitely a new video category for me but I'm excited to show you guys what I eat I think it's really interesting and I think it's important to put good stuff into our bodies so all right here we go <laughs> Alright, so these are all of my breakfast options. There are kind of a few just because I kind of get sick of eating the same thing every single day even though I kind of do it anyways, but like I like to have a couple of options just to mix it up or if I'm feeling one thing rather than the other. I have everything here that I can choose from. So cereal is the breakfast item that I usually don't eat very often. I might have cereal like <laughs> once or twice a month. I don't really know why. I think just growing up we ate cereal constantly and so now I have these different options and I tend to lean towards those a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I mean Cheerios are kind of a go-to. These multi-grain ones are really good. So are the Honey Nut ones. Um, I also like corn checks. Um, those are all gluten free. So oatmeal is my primary breakfast food just because it's easy, it's quick, especially in the fall and the winter when it gets cold. I like to have a hot meal. Um, so yeah, these are just Quaker Oats. I'm not really picky about my brands or anything, um, but I'll just throw some of these in a bowl, add some water, microwave it, add a little bit of almond milk, a little bit of brown sugar. Sometimes I'll add berries if I'm feeling fancy or want the extra, you know, fruit. Um, but usually I just eat it plain. These bagels are my favorite gluten-free item. Um, they're just so good. I'll actually eat these for like lunch or breakfast as well as like a sandwich. So I'll do like ham, cheese, mustard, stuff like that. Um, these are the Odo's Thins and I like the, what are they called? Oh, it's called Sprouted Whole Grain Flax. So there's like the little seeds and stuff on top. I don't really like plain stuff. <laughs> Especially on gluten free, it's just not good. Um, but yeah, these ones are really good. They're fairly reasonable. So sometimes I'll eat these in the morning with like peanut butter or cream cheese or something like that. Um, I'll also sometimes scramble an egg and throw that in the middle. It just kind of, again, depends on what I'm feeling. Um, I would say these waffles are kind of my go to. This is what I usually end up eating. These are the Simple Truth, so they're just from Kroger, they're basic. Um, just gluten-free waffles. These ones are the home style. I actually prefer the blueberry ones a lot more. They're just, they just taste better. I don't really, again, like I said, I don't really like plain stuff. I do add syrup with my waffles though, as always. I don't really like to eat stuff plain, um, which I've said like six times, but this is just private selection. I think it's from Kroger. It's just a dark color maple syrup. 
So yeah, those are my breakfast options today. Like I said, I'm gonna do some waffles. Okay, so for lunch I had a salad, an apple with peanut butter, which is kind of an everyday thing for me, and then I heated up some uh, like pasta lasagna thing. So if I'm at home for lunch, which is usually only Sundays and Mondays, um, that's what I have, just like leftovers and then some fruits and vegetables. Um, now if I am like at school or work, I obviously pack lunch. So it kind of depends, usually I'll do, I have the little mini like to go, um, like pineapple tidbits, a mini applesauce, sometimes peaches, I like to pack those. I also bring in apple and peanut butter. Sometimes I'll bring leftovers, um, like a pizza slice, gluten-free pizza slice, um, or like a pasta dish, or chili, or something like that. Um, other times I'll just bring like a cliff bar and like a chip, like tortilla chips are kind of a go-to for me just because they're gluten-free and I like how they taste. Um, plain. I'll also sometimes bring like bananas or raspberries, blackberries, uh, carrots too just because they're good to snack on um, and I drive like to and from school and then at work I get hungry <laughs> a lot more than I do like at school because I'm bored so I'll eat those. So yeah just lots of fruits and veggies and then usually I'll have or I'll bring a bar and then like a main like Kind of snacky food and yeah that's just about what I eat for lunch again obviously it depends but those are like the main things but I just kind of switch it up depending on what we have in the house or what I'm feeling like that day all right so it's dinner time it's 703 which is usually around when I eat dinner so tonight I'm keeping it pretty simple my mom is not home tonight so she didn't cook anything um, so I am on my own but that's fine because you guys can probably tell that I am very very congested um, I have a horrible stuffy nose and I just, I don't know, I a headache, my voice is so deep and I just haven't had like the biggest appetite lately. I am going to go ahead and do some chips and salsa. Um, I like tortilla chips just because they're salty which I feel like helps when you don't really have a huge appetite um, and salsa just because it's not really but kind of healthy for you and I feel like well, it obviously gives an extra flavor to plain chips. And then I'm also doing another apple and peanut butter, and then I just have a banana, um, just because my body's really sore too with this little cold thing that I have, so bananas are good um, to kind of break down the soreness. So that is what I'm eating for dinner. So I think my dad and I are actually going to watch an episode of Stranger Things later tonight, and I'll probably pop some popcorn with that. If I'm feeling up to it, and maybe a glass of orange juice as well. I love orange juice, especially when I'm sick. <laughs> um, and then I think my sister's bringing me tea too, home from work. She works at Starbucks, so I asked her for healthy tea to help fight this. Um, but other than that, that is all that I eat in a day. Again, like I said, it's not a ton, but I thought that it would be interesting just because, again, I'm gluten free. I'm really like into details of people's life, <laughs> and so I feel like what they eat and what they choose to eat really interesting so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, let me know if you did I could do like a, what I eat in a week and like make it a little bit more detailed yeah I don't know any video ideas please let me know and also follow me on Instagram I just switched up my theme again it's like I just keep switching it up but I just can't find something that I like but I love all the colors for fall, so it's more colorful and warm and woohoo. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.